On Friday, January 18th, three groups of people converged on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. A small gathering of black Hebrew Israelites, a religious activist group that believes African Americans are God's chosen people, students from Covington Catholic High School in Kentucky for the March for Life, and people attending the Indigenous People's March. A video showing a confrontation between the high school students, including junior Nick Sandman, and an Omaha elder Nathan Phillips went viral and sparked outrage. Phillips told the Post his version of the incident on the afternoon of January 20th. Later that evening, Sandman released a public statement giving his account. This video presents both of their versions and multiple video angles of the incident. There is this group called uh, Black Israelites, I think they are. So they're down there and they set up right on the edge of our permitted area. And when I first seen them, it did remind me of uh, a group called the Westboro Baptist Church. So that's what they, these guys reminded me of, you know, it's just a different perspective, but still the same line of rhetoric. So when these young people were saying, took offense, where was that supervisor? And we're just there trying to get out, be done. But then this, it starts escalating after, after about an hour, over an hour, it escalates and escalates and escalates. <laughs> There was a, a young kid out there that went out there, stripped down to his waist, naked, you know, out there doing the power moves. And, and then they started doing unified chants and they were like edging closer to these, these guys. And these four uh, black Israelites, they weren't going to give up no ground. Video shows Phillips approaching the students who had gathered on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. It is unclear in videos if the students moved closer to the black Hebrew Israelites, but Phillips told the Post he was trying to defuse the tension. I was surrounded. We were surrounded. No matter which way we went, we would have to go through that mob. So since I was moving forward, I continued to move forward. And I took that step, and they started moving back. They didn't break their circle, but they started moving back. So I took another step and they moved back some more. And I took another step and they moved back. And then they started breaking apart. And I said, okay, I'm gonna make my way out of here. I'm just gonna go up there to the top of the Capitol, or to the Lincoln Memorial. I'm gonna finish my prayer up there. When that young man blocked my retreat, you know, decided to stand in front of me when I was trying to make my way out of there, he put himself in front of me. So I stopped. And I thought, okay, I'm going to take another step, but he wouldn't move. I took another step, he wouldn't move. After the Post interviewed Phillips, Salmon released a public statement giving his account of the incident. He said the black Hebrew Israelites called us racists, bigots, white crackers, faggots, and incest kids, and taunted a fellow African-American student. A bunch of in incest babies. He said the students responded by asking a teacher chaperone for permission to perform school spirit chants to counter the insults. He said at no time did he hear students chant build that wall or anything hateful. Salmon said Phillips locked eyes with him and came within inches of his face. He said he believed that by remaining motionless, he could defuse the situation. Sandman also said a member of Phillips' group began yelling at a student. He motioned to his classmate to stop engaging. Salmon also said Phillips did not attempt to go around him and that he felt singled out. Salmon continued that he was not intentionally making faces at the protester. He said he smiled, but did this to show he was not going to become angry. He said that both he and his parents have been receiving death threats since the video went viral. Aaron Patrick O'Connor, The Washington Post.